Okay. <clears throat> Hello guys, welcome back to Jack Dr. Jack's Guns and Cocoa channel. Today we have a very rare, very special Shaspo model here. It's called a, I hope you can see this. No. Um it's called a Prus uh, Shaspo rifle after Prussian adaption. The Prussians the Prussians made some after winning the war in 1871, the Prussians um, adapted very fast the best uh, Chaspo rifles of the uh, French army. For this, they um, looked after the, the the ones that shot shoot best, and the other that don't didn't shoot um, well were thrown away. And this, those who shoot very well, were very accurate in shooting and have good. Um, Good results were adapted um, to Prussian army standards. This means that the bolt carrier get here uh, crunched, you know, and uh, when you um, and you see over here that it gets some uh, some scratches in it on the downside of the bolt and. Uh, and another adaption was that the barrel was shortened and the cleaning rod was also shortened and crunched. And I hope I guess I get this one out. Um, though here this was shortened and here it was crunched also. And um, today we will clean this uh, little piece of, uh, of a nice beauty gun because we have here some old some old oil and dirt here and here and uh, so we have also some rust old rust here that we will get rid of want to get rid of and um, well and have a, let's have a look into the barrel and see how it is and how it looks like here we also have some some old rust and dirt here also um look uh, let's have a look on the stock we have here some damages scratches quite normal um here we have some black color on this metal part here um by the way this metal piece here did have the old chassis um of the first series we can see that it's a first series type on this um form of the of the system this um, nose here of the system. On the second type, it's uh, with an edge here, and on the first type, it just goes in one way down. Um, yes, and the first, very first, um, shaspos have here this metal part to stabilize this critical part of the stock. Okay, we have also some rust here, I see, and here we will polish it with my um, polishing machine over there and see what it looks after this procedure okay so first of all um let's have a, a cup of, of cocoa today it's um i drink bex cocoa mm. i love this stuff before we get we get to dirty work. Um, I will bring this out. Um, but um, let's have a let's have a start. So first, we strip this. And um, for this, um, we start with some screwdrivers. We start as always we start with the bolt open it up and get this little guy out of here and you see it has all the same numbers that makes it um, a valuable piece of old gun history and now let's get it the screws out mm. 
so this comes out very easily i bought this on the market in france and uh, tomorrow i will have a customer here that want to buy this gun and um so now i want to give it a nice look and a nice uh, a nice finish so so happy so hopefully the guy is satisfied and buy our gun here okay so now i can get the system out carefully Oops. okay now let's have a look we have we have some rust here some dirt and rust some rust here here some oil old oil and rust okay let's have a look through the barrel okay we have also some dirt or rust in the barrel i think we give at first the barrel a try and afterwards the stock now we have to but we have also to strip to strip it completely this time so we also get have to get out these screws this one comes easily out and the second one oh yes that's the way i like it that's the way i like it this way it comes easy out too here we go as you may see the rear and uh, the rear screw is much longer than the front screw um, so let's place it like this and also place it place this here so you find will find again the right parts so now the stock plate comes off i hope i hope this goes easy no it doesn't well okay so we have to give it a hard try oh, i forgot i forgot something important oh. I forgot my my working cloth and uh, I will yes I put this um, not to get dirty okay here we go okay so let's go ahead with the stock plate carefully carefully so we don't want to scratch or make produce any scratches in now in the not in the metal nor in the wood and for this we have to be always very very carefully with uh, approaching the screws Okay, this was the high one and uh, this is why sometimes I it might look a bit stupid when I go uh, when I approach this screws or this um, parts and um, but it's very important not to produce further you know or new scratches new scratches are a horror for potential buyers and uh, for collectors okay so here we see, you see a nice gimmick uh, a nice feature this here's a five you mark with a five so um, these numbers here show which uh, part of the troop um, this uh, this Chesper was so it was the fifth uh, company of the battalion and um, yeah the stock looks very great so far i think we will give it a new, a bit a new polish um, as far as i can see okay here we have ah oh this is it runs okay very good so we give this also this back 
uh, sling swivel uh, will also get a new polish and the screws also and the screws too will they you will polish them this all off and and uh, when we get rid of all those dirt we will do it all together all oh. hold on hold on hold on this screw is no original but I have an original screw this one let's have a look uh, could be original I'm not sure can you see this I'm not sure about this one this might be an original maybe it's replaced was replaced by the by the um, Russians but this one is definitely not an original and I will have a look whether I have a new a new one okay so let's take the stock so no I think we should polish this first I think we should polish this first and then let's do it like we did it last time so polishing and afterwards we need to um, afterwards we uh, get uh, the metal parts okay so here we start with my polishing machine this cutter with uh, the lamp on it and um, I am keen to see the result. Oh, this is a very dirty one. I guess we should take a new one. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think over there we have. I shortly stopped the video.